stand up improvisation. It's been like a couple months since I've done this, and I did it with Adam. So now I'm gonna do it with Brandon. Yeah, yeah we're both doing it. But do rock paper scissors to decide who goes first and second. So here we go. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah, it. We got yeah, it, right? we're real legit. Rock paper scissors shoot. Oh fuck yeah. Rock paper scissors shoot. What? Rock paper scissors shoot. Oh, I picked Brandon. Oh. Uh, okay, so um, uh, there was a man. <laughs> He was late to work. He went into work. He has those weird little paper things. He like clocks it in. It's like he goes in there and then he realizes her face he never recognized before. It was this woman, and then he realized, oh my gosh, it's hot as fuck. And then you know how like when you like someone, you start to act weird. Well, his weird is really weird. Like he started to sweat, but the sweat was like yellow, and it was warm. And then it, it, that's when you fail to realize it was actually piss. So as this man was sweating piss. It was like when Jesus in the Bible, how Jesus sweat blood. Well, this man had a disorder where he sweats piss. And so the girl was like, oh my gosh, you smell like pee, what happened? He said, um, you see, I have a dog and I was walking it and I picked it up to get it because it's a small dog. And as I did, it just pissed all over me. He's like, oh my God, you have a puppy? Yeah, I do. You want to see, you want to, you want to see it? And she, yeah, of course I do. So he walks back to the house and they walk in, open the door. Okay, so they walked in. And all you hear is like, you know how dogs run? They're like, they're on the wood floor. And so run towards it, the dog starts jumping on the man's and you go, run, run, run. And the lady's like, oh, that's so cute. And then the dog, instead of jumping, it started like, <laughs> and it started really, really weird. This guy's like, okay, give me this. I'm gonna go down to the basement to get him something. So he went down there, the dog followed him. He went up, up to the cabinet and he was about to grab something out. And when he gave it to the dog, the dog reacted to it. So what he pulled out of the cabinet was a photograph of him and her. He gave it to the dog and the dog went <laughs> Walked up to the girl and the girl was like oh! And she looked at it and she was confused because what happened is she forgot her memory. She was in a car accident and it stopped her memory and he was trying to get her to fall in love with him again. Hit hit the notebook. And so he says, Amanda, do you remember? She says, no! Boy! And so the man says, What? You really don't remember? And the girl's like, No, fuck, boy! And then she started acting really hard. She started acting really hyper. She started jumping all over the house. All over the house. She started tipping over the table to it. And then it was the kitchen window. She jumped through it. She barrel rolled through that. Then she started to run off screaming with her arms flailing everywhere. And then the dog is sitting there like, What's happening? The dog, and the man's like, Shit, 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 I need to go find her. And so he, he goes outside, he gets in his car, he drives towards her, and as he's driving, he sees a little old lady. So as the man's in his car, it's shaking a little bit, just like, <laughs> he sees the old lady, and the old lady goes, ah! and he says, Urgh! and the car just goes, Urgh! it's all on fire, and the old lady walks up to him, and she has a walker, and she goes, and he, she pulls him out, he's on the ground laying, and he says, who are you? And the old lady says, You must find the woman you love and make sure she remembers you. Always and forever must be true. What's always and forever? I don't know, you tell me. And then she walks away with a little stick thing, crane ship, I don't know what it's called. And so the man hits up, and he's like, She's right, I have to find her. And so he doesn't know, and so there's this kid, he's bicycling along, he has like that little basket that's so cute. And he looks that kid right out the side and says, I need to borrow this kid! And he's driving like he's driving and he's finally catching up to her, he sees her! So he's on the kid's bike with the cute little basket, he's pedaling, he pretends this is pedaling, he says, AMANDA! AMANDA! And Amanda's all the way up here. She turns and leave me alone! And she starts running that way. Well, he goes back here and he's pedaling his ass off. He says, I can't let love down. Love, we're in love. I gotta do this for us. And she keeps running. And all of a sudden, a car comes by. She gets hit. He runs up and says, yeah! And so, what we learn is that all this could have been avoided as long as people didn't forget who they truly love. You must never forget who you love, for they are always close to your heart, right here with you. And they stay with you in every beat.
beats with them going through your body because they influence you with your decisions that much that it feels like they're part of your bloodstream. And sometimes, if they really love you, that thing won't be the only thing they beat. <laughs> and so, to this day, he still jacks off to her in his basement. He carried the body to his basement. And he jacks off to her daily, Amanda. once a day. She's still here with me.